reversing hidden curses, the most stubborn curses to deal with are hidden curses, men and women who knows that they are under some kinds of curses often get delivered with ease, those who have no inkling whatsoever concerning the kinds of foundational curses which have been in hiding in their lives since they came into the world often remain victims of stubborn curses throughout their lifetime. Hidden curses are the most wicked weapons used by the devil, the enemy of our souls, you owe yourself the duty of reversing all hidden curses in your life, your life will be transformed the moment all hidden curses are cancelled, you will begin to experience the joy of living life at its fullest, what are curses? Curses are the direct opposite of blessings, when you curse a person, you utter an evil wish against that person causing mischief or injury to come upon that person, to curse a person is to bind that person with a spell like witches do, to curse is to engage in a violent expression of evil against a person, curses are words put together to torment with great calamity, when we study evil effects of curses on mankind, we find that they have been vehicles of problems, you can also curse a thing, a curse is an invisible barrier that keeps people or things away from what God has for them characteristics of curses, let us look at some characteristics of curses as recorded in the books of Nehemiah and 2 Kings, Nehemiah 13-2 says, because they met not the children of Israel with bread and water, but hired Balaam against them that he should curse them, howbeit our God turned the curse into blessing, God has the power to turn curses into blessings, again 2 Kings 2 verse 13 to 21 says, he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and went back, and stood by the bank of Jordan, and he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and smote the waters, and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over, and when the sons of the prophets which were to view at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha, and they came to meet him, and bowed themselves to the ground before him, twenty-six and they said unto him, Behold now, there be with thy servants fifty strong men, let them go, we pray thee, and seek thy master, lest peradventure the spirit of the Lord hath taken him up, and cast him upon some mountain, or into some valley, and he said, Ye shall not send, and when they urged him till he was ashamed, he said, Send, they sent therefore fifty men, and they sought three days, but found him not, eighteen and when they came again to him, for he tarried at Jericho, he said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my lord seeth, but the water is naught, and the ground barren, and he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein, and they bring it to him, and he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters, there shall not be from thence any more death or barren land, when the anointing of God falls upon you your enemies shall bow unto you, close your eyes and pray violently as follows one, Lord, send your healing power into the foundation of my life, two, Lord, send your healing fire into the foundation of my life, when the healing power of God gets into the foundation, the top two will be healed, for the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed what can the righteous do? Many of the problems we go about with, are problems due to faulty foundation, when God created everything in the beginning and passed them through his quality control laboratory, the verdict that came out was that everything is very good, even up till now. The plants have no problem, water has no problem, animals have no problems and are not complaining. I happen to be a scientist and I have studied biology to doctoral level, I am yet to find two plants fighting, people caused the problem of Jericho, it is men that are complaining and it is men that caused the problems, Jericho stood in the way of the children of God when they were going into the promised land, and we saw how a curse was issued on Jericho, Jericho stands for the people living therein, their problem was disobedience, just like today, many come from good homes but are disobedient, may have been going to church from their youth but now it is as if they had never been to any church, many go about with good looking faces, but underneath the facade, the enemy has planted ugly things, many are born without any scars or marks but they have now acquired some, many try to drink and look happy, 
and some even use makeup to look happy, but they have found out that, that is not the source of happiness, the foundation of Jericho was good, but trouble came when a curse was issued against it, Joshua 6 verse 26 How curses operate, a person operating under a curse is easy to recognize, because he would be struggling against something, and would be unable to master the thing and overcome it, at the point of success, frustration comes in because the curse is limiting that person, if a curse is placed upon a person not to advance beyond secondary school education, all the person's attempts to pass examinations for admission into a higher institution will prove abortive, the person's efforts will be frustrated because there is a force in operation acting as an invisible barrier which the person cannot go beyond, curses have long-lasting effects, they can run from generation to generation, the curse on Jericho was not broken till 300 to 500 years after it was issued, when the man of God came and identified the problem. He added salt, and the curse was broken immediately, so shall all curses be broken, in Jesus' name, curses have catastrophic effects, a person should never hesitate to release himself or herself from the effects of any curse, if you handle certain prayer points, no harm is done, however, when you overlook necessary prayer, you can suffer many problems, curses act like fence, to protect evil spirits and give them legal grounds to operate they can come from so many sources, if a curse comes upon a person from God, then the person needs to repent and move away from what brought the curse which only God can remove, all curses from God are as a result of disobedience, God was the first person to place a curse in the Bible, he placed it upon Adam and Eve when they ate the forbidden fruit, till today, every disobedience invites curses from God and only he can remove them, laws governing curses, curse does not come without a purpose Proverbs 26 to 2 says, as the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come an undeserved curse will not come unless a person tolerates it, this means that when there is no landing space, no welcome, nothing to feed upon, a curse cannot come and stay in the life of a person, when there is a reason, the curse can come, this means that nothing can take route unless there is an underlying reason there must be reason for a curse to stay, note these facts, unless a curse is broken, it will continue to operate, a curse is a spiritual problem and can only be solved by spiritual means, not by natural means, where sins remain, curses remain, for complete freedom, there must be complete repentance, demons enforce and propagate curses, there is no curse without a demon attached to it, it is the demon attached to the curse that will make sure that terrible things happen to the cursed person, a person under a curse may find it hard to take progressive steps, for example, if such a person intends to get a visa for further studies abroad, the demon will ensure that he does not get it, if he succeeds in getting it, the demon will ensure his deportation, Christ has redeemed us from curses by substitution he made himself a curse for us, a man who knew no sin was nailed to the cross and by his death on the cross and his blood that was shed, we are redeemed from all curses Galatians 3 verse 13 verse 14, an unjust curse will return to the sender, if someone has issued a curse without a reason, it will go back to that person, cursing whom God has blessed turns the person issuing the curse a divine curse, so, do not curse whom God has blessed, a curse cannot affect a child of God who is walking in obedience, a curse can be acquired unconsciously, you may not know, when a person is under a curse. Normal prayers will not influence the breaking of the curse, there are thousands of people whose problems cannot be solved through normal prayers, many are fighting a battle they did not initiate, hidden curses are a source of real problem, the devil causes many people to forget their dreams because he knows that if they wake up and remember their dreams, they will cancel them, break them and return them to the center so he removes that from their memory, why does the Bible say the strangers shall be afraid, and shall run out of their hiding places, why are these strangers hiding, they do not want people to know that they are there, so are hidden curses, curses could result in all kinds of evil things, they can lead to chronic frustration and problems, they can be transferred to a person's possession, and from parents to children, when a person breaks the marriage vow and covenant, he sets a curse in motion, this is why many people are suffering, 
When a woman leaves her husband and marries a rich man, or a man leaves his wife and marries a younger woman, a curse is set in place. When a man has five wives, all the wives except the first one are under curses, because when the angel wants to bring their own husbands, they will turn back when they see the married men they are illegally hooked to. Married men running around with married women put themselves and the women under curses. All curses from married women against husband snatchers work like fire. It does not matter whether the women are born again or not, if you're going out with a married man and the wife at home is a witch. Any curse she issues against you will surely thrive, whether you are born again or not. Curses come when you treat others unfairly. When a woman sponsors a man to school and the man turns around to dump the woman after his graduation, the curse from the frustrated wife will blossom. When you refuse to obey your superior for whatever reason, curses come into place. If a woman who comes from a rich family tries to underrate her poor husband, curses will come upon her. Curses come through sexual immorality, even when you may have forgotten about it. That is why the Bible has two expressions for sex laid with and knew his wife, while the first word, laid, is negative, the second word, knew, is positive, whenever the Bible says laid with, it means fornication or adultery, when the Bible says, knew his wife, that is the right thing, all the wrong kinds of sex bring curses, I was praying with a man who could not get any breakthrough, three girls turned up in the spirit realm carrying small glasses containing certain things, they said, we trapped him when he was in the university because he was going out with the three of us at the same time, they disclosed that they collected things from his body which they had kept in a container under the water, so, there was no way he could prosper, the man was running up and down, without knowing that curses had been issued on him, a man who uses his money to buy sex is under a curse, girls releasing themselves to be used as objects of satisfaction to men in order to get a job, promotion, accommodation, etc., come under curses, a woman permitting herself to be abused sexually because of money comes under a curse, a father sleeping with his daughter, or a mother sleeping with her son, comes under a curse, people sleeping with animals or their brothers wives or sisters husbands, come under curses, a man places himself under a curse when he sleeps with his father's wife, fathers sleeping with their stepdaughters or parents entertaining guests with their daughters or using their daughters to get contracts, or husbands using their wives to get businesses are also cursed, Leviticus 19.29 says, do not prostitute thy daughters, pasting pictures of naked women on the wall, or buying such calendars and magazines puts a person under a curse, curses from sexual immorality are the strongest curses to break, they can take weeks to break during the deliverance of a victim, that is why the Bible says that God is not too worried about sins outside the body as he is worried about sins in the body, la, fornication and adultery, all wealth by unrighteous means put people under a curse, the Bible says the blessing of the Lord maketh rich without adding sorrow to it, that means there is wealth you get that will add sorrow to it, bribery or stealing the wealth of the dead, invites curses, many people make the wives and the children of their relatives to suffer, because as soon as the man dies, they come and cut away his property, they come under a curse, if you want to share in the property of the dead, you have to be very careful, a brother died and his relatives went there and carried everything, his wife begged them to leave a fridge so that she could be selling ice water and soft drinks to look after the children, they refused, they all come under a curse, including the person who took only the bathroom slippers, there are also curses on policemen and other people who search the dead and accident victims and take away their money, all those who sell polluted capsules and tablets are under curses, whenever the innocent is pronounced guilty, those who did it come under a curse, when you murder someone by witchcraft, you come under a curse, a woman thought her husband was not loving her, so she gave him love medicine which he ate and died, the woman came under a curse, false acquisition of land shedding of innocent blood, building houses on lands acquired falsely, and murderous drive for quick wealth, all attract curses, parental curses should not be taken lightly, shedding of innocent blood by abortion invites curses, a woman gave birth to a child and when she met a man who wanted to marry her, she killed the child since the man did not want to see the child, 
such an act attracts automatic curse, the same goes for people who dump unwanted babies in bushes or refuse bins, purchasing stolen items on which a curse has been placed attracts a curse, this is why any Christian who buys any second-hand material must anoint it and pray, for example, when a car was stolen in Belgium from somebody who sweated for 15 years to buy it, the owner removed his clothes and placed a curse on whoever will use it, the car is brought to Nigeria, the curse will follow whoever that buys it, when hidden curses are in place, you find yourself taking the wrong decisions, and failure follows, the heart will become polluted, unexplainable sorrow will begin, strange thoughts and desires will come into place, and you will go from one problem to the other, things will go wrong at the edge of success, curses are issued by satanic agents sent to do harm, the victim will be doing a bad work, and may chase away good people who would have helped him, there are also unconscious, self-imposed curses, people curse themselves every day without knowing it, a woman used to say, my poor legs, my poor legs and eventually those legs developed problems, negative words directed at oneself is a curse, touching unclean things, or anything dedicated to Satan attracts curses, all things that the Bible lists as unclean should not be touched by believers, when this is violated, there can be mental or physical illness, there can be failure, profitless hard work, defeat, poverty or family breakup, even when there is sufficient money coming in, the cursed person is broke, corruption of reproductive organs, chronic sickness, bad reputation and oppression are some of the end products of an accursed life, when the situation is like this, you need to break the curse, I want you to know that God wants you to live a curse free life, breaking hidden curses, deal with the curse, deal with the power behind the curse, reverse the curse, steps to release yourself, repent from all known sins, renounce the sins of your forefathers, accept God's forgiveness and forgive yourself, forgive all those who have ever offended you, do not bear grudges, renounce all contacts with any cursed or false religion, destroy all evil and polluted materials, release yourself from the curses by aggressive prayer, cast out the demon behind the curse by saying, I command every demon of the curse to leave me now, in Jesus name, claim the blessings as replacement for past curses, give thanks to God for setting you free, when you have done all these, you must stop walking in the path of unrighteousness, you must walk in the path where you will be blessed, God has a solution, Elisha applied the salt of heaven to the source, salt is a purifier, a preserver and a seasoner, so it is important to pray that God, the salt preserver of our lives, should pour his heavenly salt into the foundation of our lives so that all curses can be completely broken, please, use all your strength to pray the following prayer points, prayer points 1, I refuse to drink from the fountain of sorrow, in the name of Jesus, 2, I take authority over all curses issued against my life, in the name of Jesus, 3, ask God to remove any curse he has placed on your life as a result of disobedience, 4, I command any demon attached to any curse to depart from me now, in the name of Jesus, 5, let all curses issued against me be converted to blessing, in the name of Jesus, 6, when you mention any of the following curses, you will aggressively say, be broken, be broken, be broken, in the name of Jesus, every curse of mental and physical sickness, every curse of failure and defeat, every curse of poverty, every curse of family breakup, every curse of oppression, every curse of bad reputation, every curse of personal destruction or suicide, dreams and curses, if you are opportune to read this message, it is by divine appointment, this makes it imperative for you to read it very carefully, if you open your Bible to the book of Galatians 3.13 you would be in a good position to look at curses and dreams, for it says, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The two passages above are specially directed at one of the greatest problems of man, one of the greatest vehicles of tragedies and sorrows. While Jesus was there on the cross, this issue was addressed, again, 
like somebody who buys soap and fails to use it he will remain unclean, we must learn to acquire that which Christ has won for us, the issue of curses was addressed on the cross of Calvary, Proverbs 26-2 says, as the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come, the above verse indicates that a curse does not fly anyhow, it must come from a source, if we fail to use that which Christ has won for us, we do so to our own detriment, the book of Revelation 22-3 says, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve them, this means that if there are curses and Jesus takes over, there shall be no more concern, meanwhile, you and I have to address this killer in our lives, this is one killer that stubbornly destroys with terrible violence, this is one killer that has turned fertile lands into deserts, this is a killer that distributes a harvest of failure, the Bible makes 161 references to curses, this killer is the curse, and it affects millions upon millions of people and communities, this makes the issue so serious too, that it was addressed on the cross, another issue addressed on the cross was the issue of sickness, all these issues addressed on the cross, when viewed closely, are issues that have really downgraded man, what is a curse? A curse is a force working against a person or a group of people, it creates a sort of barrier, a curse is a counter force that fights blessings, a curse is an evil thing around the body, soul and spirit and man's efforts, created by the spoken words. A curse is being greeted with failure where success is smiling at others, a curse is a sentence calling for punishment or injury or destruction on a person, place or thing, a curse is an evil spiritual energy originated through verbal pronouncements, this makes it necessary for us to be very careful about what we say with our mouths, a curse is a satanic mandate given to demons to wreak havoc on a person, a place or a thing. A curse is like pinching a dog and making the dog to be chasing its own tail, many run around without knowing what they are looking for, a curse is laboring under the burden of backwardness and stagnancy, it is like one fighting against an invisible shadow, you cannot make that shadow if you do not understand it, but know that somewhere there, you are fighting something and that thing is fighting you while you do not know what it really is, a curse is laboring under a closed heaven when the heaven becomes like brass and your earth is like iron and the rains like powder and dust, the issue of curse needs to be addressed, this is so important it was addressed on the cross, no wonder, when Balaam wanted to curse the children of Israel God took it as a very serious matter, a curse is struggling without corresponding fulfillment, you keep trying your best but, somehow, all your efforts do not correspond with your achievements. A curse is when your presence generates hatred or resentment, you may have been in a particular place where everyone loved you, but all of a sudden, nobody wants to see your face, the husband that you married who was always doting over you suddenly vows to behead you if you should show your face wherever he is, a curse is when your friend proves unfriendly and you offend those you are not supposed to offend, and when you offend your own angels, who will protect you. A curse is a person sinking in a waterless sea, he cannot come out and there is no water there for him to drink, a curse is a promotion failure, a failure mechanism that operates on promotion, immediately a person is about to be promoted to a very big position, this satanic messenger will come in to scatter everything, a curse is the reoccurrence of evil things in a person's life, a curse is to fall under the prison of retrogression. A curse is being intimidated and strangled by invisible forces in the journey of life, I pray that anybody reading this and laboring under one form of a curse or the other shall be delivered, in Jesus name, a curse is encountering failures where success comes to others, a curse is wallowing in the nude in a dark tunnel without any way out, you know you are supposed to be outside but someone somehow keeps dragging you inside, a curse is a sickness that keeps recurring in the family. Some families are plagued by sicknesses like diabetes, hypertension, cancer and such other terrible diseases, this could be symptomatic of a curse, a curse is profitless hard work, in spite of being hard working, diligent, honest and industrious, yet you make no profit, I pray, once again, that anyone reading this, laboring under one evil curse or the other, shall be delivered, in the name of Jesus. A curse is the prince trekking on the ground while the servants are riding on horses, 
a curse is to be consistently caught in the crossfire of frustration and exploitation, a curse is being robbed of the blessings you are entitled to, no wonder the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, a curse is swimming in the pool of tears and regrets, a curse is falling at the peak of a height from life's ladder, some people do not fail until they get to the highest height, they encounter no problem for as long as they live and suffer in poverty, but immediately they are raised up, they somersault and fall down, this is an evidence of a curse, a curse is having no favor from God and man everywhere a person goes, a curse is when a ceiling is placed upon a man's life, a curse is desiring to reach a goal without a driving force, a spiritual magnet to pull a person there, a curse is not being able to complete any good project despite a good start every time, I pray, once again, that anyone reading this and laboring under any curse, shall be delivered, in the name of Jesus, a curse is when you are always looking for somebody to help you without ever being able to stand in a position of help to others, it is time for you, beloved, to say, I am getting out of this kind of bad situation, that situation is not my own, a curse is when helpers have no desire to help you, there are a lot of people who have brothers, sisters, friends and other people who could help them in times of trouble but who do not want to see them. I pray that this yoke shall be broken in the name of Jesus, it is when a person stands confused in the middle of the road of life where, rather than going forward, he keeps going backward, a curse is not knowing what you want out of life, it is like going to the marketplace without knowing what you really want to buy, a curse is an unseen force mocking your best efforts, a curse is experiencing a pattern of setbacks. A few months ago we prayed with a sister who had just given her life to Christ, while she was in the world, she befriended one man whom she promised to marry, at the same time she was going out with another man, when one man caught her with another man, the man said to her, I shall have to go to my grave before you will see another man who will marry you, this was said to her 21 years back, she was now 42 without any man proposing to her since the curse was placed on her. The drama of it all was this, the fellow who issued the curse at that time is now born again and married. They later met, when the man saw that the lady he cursed 21 years ago was still unmarried he started praying for Jesus to remove the curse, meanwhile, the sister was having a pattern of setbacks, I pray, once again, beloved, that anyone reading this and laboring under any form of a curse, by the power in the blood of Jesus, shall be delivered in the name of Jesus, a curse is the whole universe conspiring against you, a curse is binding a person in a cage, a curse is setting up the right conditions for demonic attacks, one of the major reasons why some evil spirits refuse to leave some people alone is that there is a curse putting them in position, if we strike against such a person reading this, the spirit attached to them will have to go because you have removed yourself from their hold. A curse is the suppression of initiatives and achievements, a curse is neutralizing the gains of human efforts, a curse is a wall or fence that protects demons and gives them legal grounds to operate, a curse is that which ensures that at the verge of your success, something always goes wrong, that is why people under curses are always frustrated, angry and bitter because even after doing the best they could, everything still goes haywire, some even attempt to commit suicide. That is why those under curses are often unfriendly, a curse causes displacement from the place of destiny, such a person finds it difficult to find a place of rest in life as he goes into terrible marriage, businesses, etc., a curse causes inexplicable sicknesses and death, a lot of people are prone to accidents and incurable diseases when a curse is in place, a curse is receiving the key of failure at the edge of breakthrough types of curses there are many types of curses, we have the curse of marriage failure and poverty, when a man is under the curse of marriage failure and poverty, give him millions of millions of naira, it is just a matter of time before he becomes poor again, open for him a multi-million naira factory, very soon, the whole thing will collapse, there is also the curse of destruction, which makes members of a family die like flies, some time ago, I prayed with a fellow who had lost about 11 people in his family between January and February, leaving only two people, there is also the curse of stagnancy just as there is that of backwardness, there is also the curse of defeat, oppression, failure and divorce, 
We have seen people who confirmed that their mother was divorced three times and they themselves are having problems with their own marriages, there is the curse of 